The following is an in-service video for the Triton Series machines from UltraClean Systems. For instructions on how to install your machine, refer to the installation video for the Excel Series machines, which have a similar layout. The switch to power on your machine is located under this panel. Also located under this panel is an Ethernet port, which is for service use only, and a USB port for UCS Verify, which will be discussed later in this video. From the Operations Control Panel, notice how the graphics represent the basin and the trays of your machine. Before you start a cycle, you have four options for each tray. You can choose Hospital Tray, Lumen Tray, or Da Vinci Tray. If you plan to leave a tray unused during a cycle, leave that selection set to Ready. When you select DaVinci, notice that the wash time automatically changes to 15 minutes, which is the minimum recommended wash time for robotic instruments. When processing robotic instruments, notice the first two trays are set for DaVinci instruments and the top tray becomes disabled. Different instruments require different minimum cycle times as recommended by their manufacturer. When combining multiple instruments with varying recommended cycle times, use the longest recommended time for that load. For instructions on how to load instruments into the trays, please watch the tray loading video. To save time, water, and enzymatic detergents, always fill the lower trays first, then work your way up. If you load the top tray only and then run the cycle, the machine will fill completely with water and use more enzymatic detergent unnecessarily. The time to fill and drain the machine will also take longer. To avoid injury and damage to your machine, always remember to keep hands and other items clear of the trays as they are lowered into the basin. To run a cycle, press the Enter Code box on the screen. A number pad will be displayed where you should then enter your identification login code and press Enter. The default login code is 9713. When you press Start, Notice the graphics on the display as the carriage is lowered into the basin. You are updated when the carriage is moving, when the water is filling the basin, when the cycle is running, what the remaining time is, as well as the current water temperature and water levels. When the cycle is complete, the carriage will raise the trays and the display will show clean. At the end of each shift, users should log out by simply pressing the log out button on the screen. From the main menu, you have access to the following buttons, Supervisor Tech, I.O. Status, Timers, Operations Screen, Alarms, Data Log, Manual Drain, Filter Change Data Log, the Sonic Test Result buttons, and the internal LED lights. UltraClean Systems recommends using the WashCheck U brand to record ultrasonic activity. After performing a sonic test using a wash check strip, enter the results of the test by selecting Pass, Fail, or Inconclusive, followed by the Data Log button. Each time the filter is changed in the basin, press the Filter Change Data Log button to record it. Filters should be changed at least once every eight hour shift. The I.O. status menu should only be used by technicians to test individual components of your machine. The timers menu controls all of the cycle times for your Triton series machine. Timers display the time in seconds. Here you have access to change external and internal rinse times, maximum cycles without draining the basin, external and internal air purge times, the length of the buzzers, cycle maximum drain times, the drain time below the first sensor, the minimum sonic power, which should always be left at 70%, the cycle maximum fill time, and the detergent ratio, which is in ounces per gallon. To change one of these settings, simply press the number pad and type your new setting, followed by pressing Enter. To drain your basin manually, press the Manual Drain button. When using UCS Verify, insert the USB thumb drive into the port located in the front panel compartment. From the main menu, select Data Log to pull up the Data Log menu. Then press this button to log the data. Once the data is transferred, press here to eject the UCS Verify drive. 
When an alarm is triggered, a buzzer will sound and the operations control panel will describe the problem that triggered the alarm. To get more information about a particular alarm, press the text line of that alarm. To clear an alarm, press Fault Reset. To add and remove operator logins, enter the code 3179. Press Enter and access the Supervisor Tech menu. To require a login to use this machine, press the Login Required button. From the Operations Control Panel, a lock and key symbol shows that the requirement is enabled. Pressing this button again disables the requirement. To view a list of operations and their login information, press the View Operator Assignments button at the bottom of the screen. Up to 50 operators can be assigned logins for each machine. To create or delete an operator login, press the Name Entry box and type their name using the keypad, then select Enter. To enter their operator ID number, press the Number Entry box and type their ID number, followed by pressing Enter. To assign their storage location number on the operator assignments log, press the Number Entry box and assign their number, followed by pressing Enter. Once all of the information is entered, select Save Data to create the new operator login. To delete a login from a particular operator, follow these same steps except press Erase Data by ID after the data is entered. This will remove the operator login from the assignment list and prevent operation by that user. For more information, visit ultracleansystems.com or call us toll-free at 877-935-6624.